You watch those love. You got us. And you protected this love. You fed us, Lord. You gave us finances, Lord. You allowed us to have our limb. But, Lord, this year, we just pray that this year even be better. Dear Heavenly Father, let us praise your holy name, Lord. Let us come together and sing and pray and in unity, dear Heavenly Father. Let us love each other, dear Heavenly Father. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we have sick ones, dear Heavenly Father, that land on their sick bed. But let them understand that the that like the bed of sickness is not unto death. They have a father touch their bodies this morning and Lord cool their fevers. They have a father that and ease their aches and pains this morning, dear Heavenly Father. Dear Heavenly Father, bless this church in a special way this morning. Bless our pastor this morning, dear Heavenly Father. Bless each and every member this morning, dear Heavenly Father. Let us understand this thing not about me, not about you, it's about Jesus Christ. Lord, I just watch over us this coming year. Let everything, Lord, bless us this coming year, Lord. Bless our children, dear Heavenly Father. Bless all this, our loved ones, dear Heavenly Father. Let us, Lord, understand, dear Heavenly Father, that we need you. We can't do nothing without you, dear Heavenly Father. We can't do nothing without you, dear Heavenly Father. And dear Heavenly Father, let us turn to each other with more love and more kindness this, this year, dear Heavenly Father. Yes. Continue to bless us, dear Heavenly Father. Make me a better deacon, dear Heavenly Father, this year. Lord, just make whatever we are, just make us better in serving your holy name this morning, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, we can't do it without your aid and assistance, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, we do thank you for the finances. We thank you, Lord, for our health and strength. Lord, we thank you for our home, our cars, our food. Lord, we just thank you for everything. But most of all, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, going out on the cross, dear Heavenly Father, giving up his life for us to be free this morning. And Lord, let us recognize that and let us love, love the way that we need to be loved, dear Heavenly Father. Lord, we thank you for our loved ones. And Lord, let us just keep on coming out to your house. And then, Lord, when it's all over and when it's all said and done, Lord, give us a place where we can praise your holy name forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's do a little bit near the cross. Jesus, keep me near the cross Oh, mm -hmm. 
can do this. So now, Pleasant Hill, let's get ready. Yeah. Let's get ready to do this wow. this year. Regardless of what the naysayers say, yeah. let's get ready to do it. Yeah. Let's get ready to do this. This is the year. This is the year. So let us stand for our responsive reading at this time. Let us stand if you have your program or Sister Nick to put it up on the board. <coughs> our responsive reading is going to be coming from 2 Thessalonians 2, 13 through 17. 2, 13 through 17. So we just thank God for all of you that took time out of your busy schedule. Yeah. You could have parted so hard last night, you didn't have time for God this morning. But you took time on the first Sunday of the year to tell God, thank you. A lot of folks celebrated last night, and guess what? They didn't make it to the new year. So we thank God today that God allowed us to see a new year. And at this time, we're going to tell God, thank you. We're going to tell God, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Not only for bringing us out of our old year, but bringing us into a new one. In 2 Thessalonians 2 and 13, he says, But we were bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren beloved by the by the Lord, because God from the beginning chose you for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To which he called you by our gospel for the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast. Hold the traditions which you were taught whether by word or by epistle. Now we are the Lord Jesus Christ himself, and our God and Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and good hope of thy grace. All comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word. And word. word. Amen. Amen. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Because listen, we all in this together. Amen. We're all in this together. We just thank God this morning that all of you just took time to come out this morning. I don't know what Brother Cecil ran off to that quick, but we just thank God this morning for all of you coming out. We're going we're gonna to ask that Brother Cecil, you've got a selection. Okay. Good man, sir. Come on, feel like you want to follow Jesus this new year. Amen. Amen. I have decided
Just keep on following Amen. 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 Let us get ready now to hear our announcement by Sister Mitchell at this time, please. Today as well, we will be singing at St. Paul's Church, St. Paul Baptist Church today at 1.30. If you are doing anything, we would love for you to come out. Again, that will be at 1.30 at St. Paul. Our privilege is Deacon Campbell, Sister Lynetta Worthy, Deacon Lane Worthy, Sister Georgia Campbell, Sister Nike Meeks, Sister Rosalie Thomas, Brother Sean Worthy, Sister Kennedy, who is here with us today. Amen. Uh, Amen. The Swindle family, uh, Sister Manuel Margot, Brother Willie Meeks, Pastor Irvin Williams, Sister Betty Nunn, Sister Emma Shields, and Pastor Matthew Harvey. Amen. Let's also remember those who are sick in the shunyans and our bereaved family, those in jail and in prison, all our health care workers and caregivers, our town, the state, this nation, and its leaders, all our college students, which we have charity at home, Sadie at home, so we want to say we are really praying for you all as well, and all our teachers, professors, and administrators. Uh, Sister Brenda Nix would like to thank the Pleasant Hill Baptist Church for showing their love toward um, her mother, Sister Mabel of Morrow. She enjoyed the gift that was given to her. It really meant a lot to her and myself. Again, thank you and God bless you all. That is from Sister Brenda Nix. Amen. Today, the family of Brother Michael Gentry, he will be very. No, excuse me. The family hour is today at the Good Shepherd um, in Montevallo between 2 and 4. He will be buried on tomorrow at 12 at Bethesda 
worship center that is in Monday. <laughs> so um, he, uh, Brother Paul, did like to announce that. He said he would like to stop by. They will be there between 2 and 4. And then also the funeral services will be expelled on tomorrow. And these are your announcements. Amen. Thank you so much for our announcements. Well, let me skip our announcements in line. Thank you so much. I do just uh, praise God for uh, those that pray for the McKenzie family during the hour of uh, trials and going through. We just thank God for uh, those that, 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 that look after them because it may be their time now could very well be yours the next time. So please keep that in mind. Uh, thank you also for the gifts, for the birthday gifts. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. I'm just excited. I told my wife, she asked me, she said, what do you want? I said, let me tell you what I really want. Let me tell you what I really want. I live to see six Yes, sir. That's my gift. That's my gift. I live to see 62. That's my best tomorrow. That's a gift. Because when you start looking across our family, our family, a lot of, a lot of my family didn't live to see 62. So I'm grateful and thankful that God has allowed me to see this far. So if I get to see tomorrow, and the Lord allow me to wake up tomorrow every day, and this is God, I'll be fine. That's my gift. That's my gift. That's my gift. That's my gift. And if God doesn't do another thing, I'm, 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 not, I'm not talking about y'all. Y'all may be looking at material stuff. Y'all may be thinking about what all me and sister praying got. Y'all when we die, that's going to be somebody else's. It's going to be our grandkids or somebody else's. Forget about that stuff. You don't take any of that to the grave. That's right. That's right. That's right. The thing that you're going to have to understand is this. The greatest gift that you can have is life itself. Yes, and if you fail to enjoy it, shame on you. Amen. I know that's right. Amen. So we need to celebrate Amen. this morning, y'all. <laughs> Because we wanted to celebrate the gift of seeing another year. Amen. And I want you to celebrate with us the gift of seeing another year. And there's a word that God has for us for another year. So if you hadn't said on it, this is the year. <laughs> this is. Father Savannah, don't sneak in on <laughs> This is, this is the year. Amen. I don't know what God has planned for you. Yeah, yeah. Lord, it's God. This is the year. This is the year. That God's going to turn it around. Yes, God. In your face. Yes, I don't know what you've been praying yes, for. I don't know yes, what you've been yes, lifting yes, up for yes, God. 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 I don't know. I, I, it may be a thing. It may be a person. It may be a child. It may be a marriage. But God's like, yes, yes, sir. But you got to do something. Amen. You got to do something. You got to be obedient. Because as we stated. In this, the usher should have gave you a wristband when you came in to say that we can do this. We can do this. Because one thing that all the next sales, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later on, all the next sales will tell you, what a 
they do? Yeah. Who do they think they are? Yes. They can't do that. Because if you listen to the naysayers, you'll never have nothing. That's right. So as we get ready to pour into tithes and offering this morning, as we get ready to give, let us give with a spirit of this is you. That God will turn it around to you. So as we get ready to give, let us get ready to give into the work of the Lord this morning. And then we're going to hear from heaven. Amen. Amen. We're going to hear what God has to say. Hold this up. Amen. Amen. Let us come. All my fellow deacons just kind of, kind of don't feel too good if all they got the flu and all. So I'll go ask somebody if they feel like they're here.
just want to say thank you. God, we thank you for this. This is your table for the Lord. God, we ask that you will bless me in a special manner, Father God, for the upbuilding of your king. God, we ask that you will bless those who gave it. Bless those who have desired it, but did not have it this time, God. God, we love you. God, we bless you. God, we thank you. Thank you, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So, as, as, a, as a granddad, you get in trouble real fast. <laughs> So my granddaughter reminded me that it's her birthday, January 20th. <laughs> so if y'all would help me wish Olivia a happy birthday on January 20th. She will be six years old. Y'all remember the little power stuff used to come down there? Yes, yes. My mom almost had a heart attack because she left. Wow. Yes, yes. Not in the garage, not in the garage. But God. If you would, um, find the book of Nehemiah. Sister Tina, Jazz, we're going to double up, Amen. stack up. Amen. We're going to do this. And then, if you go to the book of Nehemiah, if you don't know what Nehemiah is, find Chronicles. Go to the end of Chronicles and find the edge of Nehemiah. Find the book of Nehemiah. In the sixth chapter of Nehemiah, I want you to join me in the sixth chapter.
Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
So I sent messengers to them saying, I am doing a great work, so I cannot come down. Why should I, listen, why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? But they sent this message four times, and I answered them in the same manner. Then Sambalat sent his messenger to me as before the fifth time with an open letter in his hand, and it was written, it is reported among the nations of Gershom said that you and the Jews plan to rebel, rebel. Therefore, according to these rumors, you are rebuilding the wall that you may be king, be, may be their king. And you have also appointed prophets to proclaim to proclaim concerning you at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah. Now these matters will be written to the king. Come, therefore, let us consult together. Then I said to him, saying, No such things as you say are being done. But you invented them, you invented them in your own heart. But they are all, but they all were trying to make us afraid. Saying, saying their hands will be weakened in the work and it will not be done. Therefore, O oh Lord, strengthen my hands. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Pleasant Hills, if I could, for just a few minutes this morning, use for a subject. I'm doing a great work. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm doing a great work. And my purpose is I can't stop. I can't stop. As I introduce our lesson, I welcome you to 2023. So many of us in 2022 let folks halt us. Uh, I'm going to talk to the lights because I don't want to look at nobody. But so many of us let people halt us in 22 from accomplishing our goal. Brother Chad, we had such high lofty goals to accomplish, but we let St. Ballots and Tobias in our lives decide that we couldn't do it. And they will always, they will always say, what are you doing? I, 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 I mean, <laughs> it, 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 it reminds me that every time, I, I, uh, Brother Nix, I don't care when I'm cutting grass. If I'm cutting grass in the front yard, Brother Savalas, and I'm cutting, when I'm cutting grass in the sun, I can see it going down, and I know my time is limited. And there's always somebody that rides by and stop <laughs> and want to talk for just a little while. And you know how it is. They, it, it, it ain't just for a little while. They just want to hold you up right. long enough. And you know that if they hold you up, Brother Eric, long enough, that, that, that it's going to get done. Yeah. And you're going to be out there cutting grass yeah. in the dark. So, you know, I, I, I try and be holy and sanctimonious and say, brother, I got to go. Uh, they, they said, brother, now I'm the box the door, but it won't cut grass in the dog. Right. I, I ain't no headlights on it. I, I, I got to go. So you, you, you got to know the symbolics of the lives 
in your life that will they come to haunt you, to slow you down. They will stop every project that you're working on. You can be out there working on your car and you, you're trying to get finished and you know how everything comes, go back together. They come out and say, man, I don't think you're doing that right. And you, you go like, wait a minute, I got the picture. You know, I, you know, I, I took a picture. You know, the man, I don't think that's right. And see, you got to be careful of those folks that come in your life that do nothing but try and hinder your progress. Yes. And in 2022, you let too many folks be kind still of, be robbers of your success. And you got to make up your mind that this is the year that I'm going to put a stop to those robbers on my time. I'm going to put a stop to it this year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you, 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 you think, well, 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 Pastor, you don't know the kind of folks I'm dealing with. Yeah, I know exactly what you're dealing with. Yes, but I deal with some of them every day. Some of you kid folks, some of you work folks, yeah. some of you know they 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 they, they come in, they mean good. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes they come up and and, and, and y'all sometimes you gotta know when to let it go. Yeah. Kenny Rogers had a song that 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 he wrote. You gotta know when to fold them. Oh, yeah. you, you gotta know when to roll them. And you gotta know when to walk away. And you gotta know when to run. And see, a lot of us, we get caught up in the fact we sat at the table with them and we should have never been there. Yeah. We still sitting there trying to talk. We, they, 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 they said, and we got, but it's amazing. We got amazing work going on at the church. And we'll let what somebody say to us stop us. The devil tricks ain't stop, ain't change. They change. They change. I, I, I'm gonna show you evidence in the text that the Satan's tricks ain't changed. The same trick he tricked anyone he tricked other folks with. The same trick that he tried to trick here in in, in this text with. In the, in the text right here, we need to know he's still pulling the same trick. Why, why should he try new do tricks when that one works? When it works, still by, still by, still by do his tricks. But see, most of us don't know the word and we don't know his tricks. We don't do his tricks and see, in life, you got to know the word and you got to know the devil's game. Yeah, yeah. You see, a lot of us can't recognize a snake when we see one. See, 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 that, that is in the text. That, that, there it is in the text. Now, 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 see, the first thing, the, the, the first thing those days that happen and see, this is how folks do you. Yeah. There it is in the text. It said, now it happened when Sambalad and Tobiah and the Gershom of Abraham and the rest of them, when they heard, not that they seen it, they just heard you were doing some good work. Now, now they ain't they seen nothing. They just heard of the COVID that you were doing good things. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, they got an issue with what you're doing. All of a sudden, they got a problem with what you're doing because you're doing a, a, a good work. In, in, in other words, they hear about you. They heard. See, all the enemy got to do. And see, listen, messy folks gossip. Amen. Amen. <laughs> see, what church folks do, I'm talking church folks, not Christian. Church folks go to the barbershop and gossip. 
church folks go to the community and gossip. Church folks talk the pastor down. Church folks talk the members down. Church folks talk everybody down. They heard. I get phone calls all the time. Man, I heard. I'm telling you, I heard. What you hear? What you don't hear? You, 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 you don't call the right one, baby. What you yes, don't hear? You, what, what, what you don't hear? I'll tell you the truth. What you don't hear? You want to know the truth? You, you're talking to the right one. Yes, you're talking to the right one. And I'll be just like Nehemiah. You're a bald face like. You got to call it like you see. You got to listen. Sometimes folks don't even deserve a response. Neil Brown sit back. He said, listen, I ain't got time to stop and fool with you. And now we stop and entertain. We stop and sit down and barbecue with him. We stop and warm our hand with him. We stay heard. It heard. It heard we were doing something good. Y'all, the minute folks hear you doing something good, they gonna do everything to scheme against you. Listen, give y'all a little second. Folks didn't know me and Fran were building a house that was sitting at halfway there. Next time they saw me out in the front yard, they said, mm-hmm. you are so funny. I don't know, man. What you saw again? <laughs> what I know, when they told anything, we were big. See, the, the thing, sometimes you can't put your business in the street because everybody ain't for you. I'm going to read it in the text. I'm going to read it in the text. You think everybody smiling in your face? That's right. What, what, what does the whole or blue so everybody smile in your face and they want to take your place. <laughs> Them backstabbers. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being real. This is the year. This is the year. You're going to have to quit fooling around with them folks. You're going to have to quit fooling. Listen, listen, listen. This is the first time somebody said, I heard it. I heard. Then why don't you come meet with us and oh no. That's right. I'm gonna meet with now the thing that you need to know about in the battle of oh no, oh no was a day's journey away from the wall. A day's journey. So really it was two days. A day away, a day back. So Neil says from oh, should I go and meet with you? And delayed work for two days, fooling around with you. <laughs> but there was one other thing that, if you done a little extra reading, that in the Battle of Ono was located right next to Gershom's hometown. Be careful where you meet. So if they really want to meet, why didn't they come over the way we were? You know, it'd be easy, you know, they would, you know, they, I'm up there working. You want to meet, you know, why don't you come to the wall? They knew exactly where you were working at, but they kept sending the messages. Both times they sent the messages. And see, that's what message folks to do. I'm just calling what they are. They, 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 they message folks. They, 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 they message folks. And listen, because see, my second point, not only did they heard him, but they wanted to harm him. Mm-hmm. See, really what they really wanted to do is get him away. And they wanted to get him, and, 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 and I know all of y'all ain't, well, some of y'all don't rock, Roscoe Miller, what, what is it, Roscoe uh, P, where she gets him in the head lot, and she, she beats him. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what they wanted to do to 
living there by. They, they from the baby. They wanted to get them away from the wall because they know if they got them, if, if they get the head. Yes. Right. Right. See, anytime they deal with the head, the rest of it going to stop. The work will going to stop. Listen, 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 because, see, if they stop the leadership, if they stop the head from doing anything, if I stop doing anything, y'all going to shut down. But if, guess what? If you heard if they don't harm you, you ought to, you ought to, you ought to have support. See, see, see what the word of God tells us in 1 John, beloved. 1 John 4 and 1, it said, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirit to whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Now see, Nehemiah, in verse number two, the Sambalites and Goshen sent him a message saying, let us come together among the village in the plain. Mm -hmm. But they thought to harm me. Mm -hmm. See, you gotta have some foresight. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't mean you. I mean, they, they, you know, I put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. They're all the time trying to stab you in the back. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and the thing that you need to be mindful of is that, you know, okay, both times they did this. Mm -hmm. Now, if he didn't answer the first time, mm -hmm. and I've seen you back the second, the third, the fourth, now, he, he done made them mad now. Mm -hmm. So now what they decided to do is say, listen, he ain't falling for this. Near my now suspects foul play. Mm -hmm. So if he's caught by himself at right. any time, mm -hmm. they're going to kill him. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. If you're doing a great work for God, you need to know that the enemy is out to trip you up. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. So the first chance he get, if he catch you, Doing something amiss, he gonna make sure you get tripped up. Yes. So you need to make sure that you keep your act together. See, 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 see one of the things you can't do, you can't off, offer the enemy an opportunity. Yes. Yes. And see, a lot of us, a lot of us offer the enemy opportunity. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> opportunity. So what we do, we open the doors. Yeah. Amen. Then when we open the door, he gets his foot in, and we can't get the door back shut. And then we got a problem. But Nehemiah suspected fire play. So what he done, he sent them a message back. He said, I'm doing a great work. Right. He said, I can't come back. Yeah. He said, since I'm doing the great work, he said, why don't y'all do this? He said, why don't y'all come to me? I'll send some, he sent messages back. He said, why don't y'all come to me and come over here where I'm at? They, they rejected that. Mm -hmm. But then one thing that, that, that they started, that they he noticed that their motive that they turn around and pay another off. Mm -hmm. And see, this last thing that you need to know is that the, the thing, not only do they want to, they, they hear what you're doing, not only do they want to harm you, but they want to halt your work. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear what I'm saying. The ultimate goal of the enemy mm -hmm. is to halt your work. Mm -hmm. so, so listen, listen to this. There in verse number one, Three, Nehemiah sends the message back to him. He said, I'm doing a great work. So I can't come down. Why should I? Why should the work cease while I leave it and go down the end? And see what y'all need to know is that Sambalat and them wrote a letter. Mm -hmm. 
Sabalat had his, his messenger. He wrote a letter. And not only did he write a letter, he was no doubt and dirty about it. He wrote the letter and left the letter wide open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And sent it by the messenger. Yeah. And y'all know the messenger probably was on the way. You know, he, he, he probably was, oh man, uh -huh. good gracious alive. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. 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 So the messenger probably didn't tell nobody mm -hmm. about what he read. Mm -hmm. But one thing that the messenger, when that, 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 that 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 they that that they done when they got the Gershom tried to tell him he said listen he said I'll tell you what you do Nehemiah said by the told him he said I'll tell you what in verse number nine he said he said he he said he, in, in verse number eight he in verse number seven he said he said he said also he said you've appointed prophets and you trying to set up yourself as king and she, she said, quite naturally, this matter is going to get reported. He said, the king going to find out. He said, but let us come counsel together. Y'all, let me tell you something. Anytime the enemy want to come sit down and counsel together with you, you know you're in bad territory. But one of the things that Nehemiah recognized is that all he was trying to do is make them afraid. And y'all, that's what all the enemies trying to do to you is make you afraid. And what you got to realize is that guess what? We don't we don't need to be afraid because guess what? We never need to be afraid of the enemy right. and his weapon because we need to remember Isaiah fifty four and seventeen that no weapon formed against us shall prosper every tongue that rises up against us and judgment shall be condemned. And guess what? There is the heritage of the saints of the Lord and their righteousness is for me, says the Lord. You got to realize who you are. As children of God, you got to know in your heart that the enemy has formed a lie against you. And the reason why I said earlier that this lie had worked before, if you go back to Ezra chapter number two, the enemy done the exact same thing to the saints once before. Where he told a lie, they had written a letter to the king. And the people believed the rumor. And they quit the project. And they quit working the project because they believed the rumor. And two years later, the project went still unfinished. But look at Nehemiah. Nehemiah tells him, he said, he said, he said, listen, I don't believe it. I don't believe a word that you said. He said, listen. For all of this, you're just trying to make us afraid. All the enemy is trying to do is to make us afraid and weaken our hands. So you need to pray to God, strengthen my hands for the work that he has for us to do. Just like God has told us, this is the year. This is our time. Tell your neighbor, this is the great work that we're doing. I cannot come down. We need to know that this is the time, this is the year, this is the moment that God's going to turn things around in our favor. Just like when Jesus went to the garden to pray, he knew that this was the moment that he came to earth for. He couldn't turn around. This was it. And he couldn't turn around. So as he kneeled down to pray to God, he said, Father, nevertheless, not my will, but let your will be done. Let this cup pass from me. And he got up and got her old rugged cross. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging up Calvary's heel, stumbling and falling, but nevertheless, they stretched it wide. Yeah. Nailed him to that old rugged cross. 
when they nailed him down, it wasn't over. They stood him up between two things. One big thief on the other side. If you be God, save yourself and us. But it wasn't this year. It was that year that he told him this day. You should be with me in paradise. When he hung his head in the lock of his shoulders, he said, it's finished. It's done. It's completed. They put him in a bar or two, but he didn't stay there. Early, early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. He got up with all power in his hand that this may be the year for us to do great work. For us to do great work. This is the year for us to do great work. I don't know about you. I'm not going to let another day go by without doing my best. Yes, Lord. You ought not never give up or give in to the enemy's tricks. This ought to be the year. This ought to be the year. Doors of the church is open. Will you come? Won't you come while you still got blood running warm in your veins? This is the first Sunday of the year. Won't you come? Won't you come while you still got time? Won't you come while you still got time? Won't you come while you still got blood running warm in your veins? Won't you come? Doors of the church is open. This is the year. Won't you come with everyone while you still got time? What a choir saying.